example of a process control plan on a PCBA process. So let's take this process here, um, an assembly of some of the components on the assembly line after the SMT process. So it's on, on the assembly line, okay, we bundle everything here, all the stations on the assembly line basically, and there are four control points that are uh, documented here. So a visual check after this LED is soldered on 100% of the pieces. Uh, so it's not sampling, right? It's screening 100%. Um, some of it by visual, some of it might be um, automated uh, visual inspection. Okay. Um, then also the LED is tested for functioning, proper functioning, and if it functions, it illuminates. Okay, illuminates or doesn't illuminate. Basically, that's uh, that's the criterion here. Uh, there is a text fix testing fixture for that. Okay, once it's in the fixture, we can see if it functions or not. And again, it's on hundred percent. The cables again are they um, uh, visually can they can we switch on and off also basically uh, at the same time we, we check the cables and we can also do uh, we can also check continuity also on a testing fixture on 100% okay so all of these are part of the assembly line they are um, testing inspection and testing uh, stations okay steps on the assembly line so that that's an example um, before that is a more of a fabrication process okay is an SMT machine uh, basically a um, relatively sophisticated um, uh, uh, pick and uh, pick and place uh, robot uh, that places and solders the, the components automatically not on an assembly line with people and same thing, uh, there's a testing fixture that checks visually, so it's uh, automated visual inspection that checks for product placement and for the proper soldering joints and, and so on. Okay, um, A, B, C, D, A is ID critical, then B is uh, very important and, and so on, all the way to D. Okay. Uh, and this is these are process steps okay this one is purely testing okay uh, it's at the very end now usually there are also a lot of uh, rows also for the products for the components uh, so this is for incoming QC because if the components are faulty anyway it's not gonna uh, fare well in um, uh, one, once it's it's all assembled, so maybe the motor, the jack, the LED, and so on, the ICs, resistors, capacitors, inductors, and so on. These are all very um, uh, classic. Obviously, the bare uh, PCB board and, and and so on. Okay, uh, how are the how is it tested? It's tested for continuity. Tested for short circuits. Um, and and there's there's a certain way of testing it. It's 100%. Okay. Sometimes it might be one piece in the wood batch. Sometimes it might be 10%. Okay. Um, this all of this is basically the incoming QC um, process um, at a high level. Okay. The idea here is to have everything in the same control plan in the PCBA facility. Okay, first they're going to receive all these components all the way to here and they're going to check them, okay, maybe simply uh, cables, connectors, simply count them and, and, and so on, uh, maybe co cut one and, and, and check, the, check what is inside, okay, um, if it's not good, return to supplier is the reaction plan usually. And then all of this is in house, and sometimes there is also the outgoing QC here uh, on the finished uh, part or even maybe finished product before it's shipped out of the factory. So the idea is to have everything on the same plan, 
um, and to have a view of what is really important, more or less important. Okay, B is already pretty important. Uh, a would be uh, really critical. And once we have a view of all the components and all the process steps and all of their controls, uh, it can be uh, adjusted if needed and then translated, typically translated into work instructions for for the, the operators, the, the inspectors, the, the people doing the testing and so on. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's, that's an example of a process control plan.